That's Philip Bay. He's been doing a great job. Third in scoring, leading rebounder for Cameroon. 14 points, nine rebounds, can knock down the three as well. So it's going to be absolutely scintillating stuff here. Get ready. Don't take your eyes off this. It's the first of the two semifinals. Mali in red, Cameroon in white. It's the jump off between Jambo and Abua. And Mali in red will get the first offense, attacking our basket to the left. Kanate. Jambo. Just easing their way into it. Wide open Jambo with the three. And nothing but net. Atiba couldn't get out to him. And Ibrahim Jambo, such a long time servant for Mali. Knocks down the three and they're causing issues as they've done to all teams they've played. The steal from Fasenyi inside. Extra pass, this is good. Jambo all the way to the basket and Cameroon just stood there and watched him. Great start for the team in red. Seventh places in the FIBA rankings separate these teams. 67 Cameroon, 74 Mali, but can almost put that to one side because these two teams are really evenly matched with match winners wherever you look. Shots up from the corner is short. Offensive rebound by adding to his tally. And way downtown. We spoke about in pregame, Jeremiah Hill gets Cameroon off the mark. That was a huge three-pointer from miles out. Kante passes it off Jambo. They're really going to him early. Kante squares up, fakes. Back outside, free throw line jump shot is good. For Mule Sissoko. He's been putting up some good numbers, eight points, four assists. Four rebounds, one assist, one block in the win versus Nigeria. A three in transition thought about. Gets into the three second area. Jambo wide open and just off to the right. Long two is short, pulls loose and off the bounce. Mali get the rebound with Sissoko. For Senyu Drami, he's going to take the three and long. But great rebound by his brother, Hassan, but he just gets blocked. Can't finish off. Jeremiah Hill for Cameroon. Jambo's on him. Making him dance all the way out, but it goes into the hands of his coach, Cabacante. Excuse me, of Alfred Baliaba. And they're saying the right things. Next play, don't worry. But it's just seeing what Jeremiah Hill can do with the, his ball handling skills, but nothing coming off that offense, almost a steal. Both teams just a little bit nervous. It's a massive game. One game away from the final, two, two wins away from going to the Olympic qualifying tournament because that's what this is all about. The best teams that didn't make the FIBA Basketball World Cup finals, which starts on the 25th of August through to the 10th of September, are here. Nigeria, Tunisia eliminated. Senegal coming up in the next semi-final versus Guinea, who beat Tunisia yesterday. There's been some great storylines. And look at Jeremiah Hill, almost loses it. Penetrate, kick, shots up for three, it's good! And that's a boo, and that's a great stroke. High elbow, great concentration. Young players stepping up. Paul Abu, he's playing in Italy in the Itali Italian second division for Vanoli. And averaging nearly 10 points a game, six rebounds for them, and six games in the World Cup qualifiers for Cameroon as well. Cho's first foul. No 
One D, one D, one D. He said 20. We're trying to help. You can hear all the instructions by the coaches. Off we go again, Marley. Kante inside. I thought that might have been a jump shot there. It's going to be a left hand push shot. No good for Sissoko. Tiba to Abua who attacks. Philip Bay can make that shot and he does nothing but that. You can't leave him alone. He causes a lot of issues around the hoop, but he steps out for the three pointer. Bay up to three points. 9 7 Cameroon lead. So much talent. Where do you look? In red or white. Kante shots up. Attempt to shot, but Hassan attacks the basket. Hassan gets the miss, but he steps on the baseline. And Cameroon standing strong. Hill. This time guarded by Hassan Drame. And there's the good defense, the long arms, the athleticism from Mali. And they go all the way for the, off the glass, but Cameroon again getting back, making it difficult. Atiba goes left. And the hard running Abua, that should have gone right really from Atiba. Maybe look left and pass right, and Abua will be wide open. In fact, that may have been choked. Drummy. To his brother off the screen. That's long. Just needing to settle down. We're halfway through the first. The winner goes to the final tomorrow. And we'll play Senegal. Or Guinea and foul on the floor. There's two point, two shots going to come. He's obviously into his layup steps. to the floor for Cameroon. Jeremiah Hill at the line. Hundred percent for the free throw line so far. We've made five of five up till the game today. Marley pushing the ball early. Transition. Three in the corner, up fake. Now the three's coming from the wing. And it's an air ball, but Hassan right there. And he tries to elevate, but good D from Cameroon. Playing really strong and really smart. Jeremiah Hill, screen from Bay, who dives. Kante over closes out. On the defensive effort there. 
on Roland Nayama. Good play by Roland. It's Kante's first foul. Tiba Hill in motion. And he makes the three, and he's a real problem. Whether he's got the ball or he's moving off ball, that was super play. Came from down low up to the opposite wing and just nailed the shot. Marley down by seven, and it's timeout. Let's listen in to Cabacanti. some of the stats and here's some of the highlights. Just good defense from Tamanang Cho there. And there's Atiba. Remember he had a massive game against Nigeria. against Guinea in the first game, excuse me. 27 points, seven of 10 from behind the arc in Cameroon's first game. And they took care of Tunisia and here they are against Mali. Mali really need a positive response now. Faseni Drami, big test for him. And a three pointer, beautiful arc, great rotation. And Sissoko knocks down the three. Hill, where's the help? Great opposite corner, and again, Hill and Atiba connect. That's a beautiful play there. Getting the shoot to open in the opposite corner. Kente. Good effort by Bay. He was so close. Nobody has possession. We didn't have possession. We didn't have possession. I think. I think it's. If he had possession, he would have passed it. He never. He never got it. Let's go. Hey, white, white, white. One day. One day. And they can really hear the coach's interaction and. Help! Help! Okay, Marley with another 14 seconds. Kante looking for. Oh, options takes it himself, and that's off. Offensive rebound again, though. Good fight, good fight. Senyi Drami. He's averaging six and a half rebounds a game. Three offensive rebounds a game, three and a half defensive. So to go with his 16 and a half points, one assist, two steals. Marley with the baseline inbound. They get another 14 seconds. Shots up, just off. Offensive rebound again by Marley. Diara there involved. Again, unforced error on. Stepping out of bounds. Hill against for senior Drami. Hill 
Hill. Screen offered by Bay. Gets the ball back off the bounce pass. Shot clock running down. Hill's going to have to create something. An offensive foul by Philip Bay. That's Bay's second foul. So Coach Baliaba getting him out of the game. He's such a key piece for Cameroon, but they've got a rebound better. That's five offensive rebounds already for Mali. Hey, Sami, Sami, Jay, hey, the same. Roland, the same. Just a little slight delay. 2.46 remaining in the first quarter. It's Cameroon 17, Mali 10. It's the first semi-final of two today. The winner goes to the final of this pre-qualifying tournament for the Olympic qualifying tournament, which will take place on the road to Paris next summer prior to the Olympic Games. Five pre-qualifying tournaments around the world. Two in Europe, one in one here in Lagos, Nigeria. Syria is the Asian venue. Then Argentina for the Americas. 17-10 to Cameroon, Mali. Need a strong possession here. Sideline. Kante with the inbounds, throws it into extra pass, shots up and good for three, worth the wait. And Sissoko with another three, six points, two of two. Good play from Mali. They're keying on their the Drammy twins, and the likes of Diara and Kante. Other players have got to step up because they're going to be open. Shots up. Cameroon in response, off from Atiba, but offensive rebound. Corner pocket three is good from Atiba. He is dangerous. Cannot take your eyes off him for a moment. Balls loose. And off the foot of Jambo. Just a little bit too much dribble there from Mali. And they pay the price. Down by seven again. Two minutes remaining. There's. Ulrich Kampke Chumchi, 17 years old, 2 metres 11. And Tonji in for Cameroon. And Mali with good defense. And again, too much. And good job by Chomsky. Watch out. And a big throw down by the 17 year old. Good defense from the big fella. And he galloped and rose and slammed it down. Warning signs for Mali in the first quarter. Defense. A lot of defense on the ball side. Deep three, it misses everything. And Mali are rattled. Hassan Drami trying to get that three to go. It's a big test for them.
Mali, of course, are a young team. Cameroon, a little bit more experience. Push shot is good. That's really good for Cameroon. And Nyama doing good things for Cameroon. Mali with the score. Diara with the two point jump shot. Deep three is slightly flat. And here goes Mali. Can they get back in this? Last 30 seconds. And blocked! Chomchi with the huge block, but I think. It may. They are going to call that as basket interference or goaltending. Wow, I think he's got to go stronger than that, Diara. But Coach Bally Arbor's had a look at I think he's accepting that was a goaltending. But great hustle by Chomchi. Good signs for Cameroon for him. And it's time out. Cameroon, who lead 24 to 17 on semi final Saturday. Let's listen in. Field goals on free throws. Marley haven't been to the line yet. Seven of 19 in the field. And here's some of the highlights. That's a really nice play from Nyama. Again, other players stepping up because they know Hill and Atiba will be on. Other players, if you like, filling in the gaps and making Cameroon really difficult to play against. There's Naima, two points for him. Jeremiah Hill, 11 points early. Baye, three points. And Atiba with a one of three from three. Trap from Marley. Good play. Getting out, getting the player in the middle, and they're able to get it over the timeline. Three seconds between game and shot clock. Will it be an explosive finish here in Lagos to the first quarter? Shots up and it, the throw down, no good. Chomchi gets the rebound. Extra pass, nice fake shots up and good. That is as good as it gets. Betcom with the finish for Cameroon. His first three-pointer, everything going the way of Cameroon. Marley finding this really tough missed shot offensive rebound out to Betcom and he nails it from the corner end of the first quarter Cameroon 27 Mali 17 end of the Here's the stats, 67% for Cameroon from two, two of three, seven of 12 from three, two of two from the line, three of 10 from three for Mali and four of nine from two point range. Jeremiah Hill, the leading scorer for Cameroon. And leading the way for Mali is Haruna Sissoko with a couple of three pointers. Good start from Jambo. He's got five points in eight minutes. Two or three from the field. One of two from three. He made that three-pointer right at the start of the game from the left corner. And there's Hill to the table. And you, well, he missed that one. But Jeremiah Hill didn't miss this. He's playing with such confidence. The Girona star playing in the ACB in Spain. Jambo. This was good ball movement from Mali. So some good, good moments that Cameroon have done their homework. They're making it as tough as possible for the Drame twins. And there's a Bua and knocking down his three. I think the 
the great play of Bay, the big three, Bay, Atiba and Hill, really giving confidence to the likes of Chomchi to step out and make that steal and just for players to feel comfortable and, and be able to express themselves. Courtside 1891, that's the home of all the live streams, all the stats, all these Olympic pre-qualifying tournaments. The World Cup coming up on the 25th of August. Scan the QR code, scores, schedules, statistics. FIBA Basketball World, FIBA Basketball World Show and oh, some great classic games as well from the FIBA. History. Here we go again. Betcom. 10 point lead for Cameroon in the white. Not loose. Here comes Hassan Drame and offensive foul. And that's just forcing it off the dribble. Maybe that needs a crossover or Eurostep. That was a really hard foul. Great job. By Betcom. Go get it. Go get it. John, go get it. Good. Get out, get out. Beckham versus Durami. Ronald Comey's on, the captain of Cameroon. Penetrate okay. kick. Chua for three, and that's good. And they're showing a bit of everything. Uric Kamkachumchi. 17 years old, 2 metres 12 left, wide open from behind the arc and drains it. Now it's down to Mali. They cannot, they mustn't start to force it. Diara. They're attacking, ball's loose. He's going to have to come back out and they get it. Chomchi doing some really good things here. Showing good hands into the corner, shots up and just off uh, John Tonji, Marley up the floor, inside, but the defense is there, but up fake gets them off. And nice play from Dembele, number 21, Seku Dembele. Betcom crosses over, good D from Sidibe. And left hand attempt, but Chomchi just couldn't get airball enough. Drami into the corner. Sadibi attacks, baseline. And another offensive foul against Mali. Seku Dembele with the foul. Foul drawn by Nyama. Beckham behind the back, closely guarded by Hassan Drami. Ten seconds on the shot clock. Beckham comes back out to Army, drapes over him, playing defense. Here comes Chomchi with the screen. And the ball poked away and a foul called. Drainage second foul. Got to be careful. Betcom. This time he's got Haruna Sissoko on him. Betcom again. Kami shoots and Ali with the rebound. Diara can't get that to go. Dribbles, throws it up and scores. And the foul, I think, will be on Chomchi. Good shot from Diara. He's averaging nine and a half points a game, ten and a half rebounds. Only 5 of 14 from the free throw line. He's got to sort that out. That hardly reached the hoop. Hey, go, 
On Marley, they've only got one more, and they're being team fouls. Foul on Sissoko is first. Tonji inbound, Kami goes left. Tonji bounce pass, and the foul. Nice job, nice up fake before going up, and Diara bit on it. And Abu will go to the line for two shots. Abu with 16 minutes, nine and a half points a game in the first two games. Rebounds. 100% from the free throw line coming into this game. They calmly done. Very impressed with. Playing in the Italian second tier this season. Hang around. I'm gone there. Far. It's incoming. Paul Abua foul with the foul there. It's too free for a loaded. Substitutions has Mali Mule Sissoko in. Free throws. for Vosage in France. 40% from the free throw line so far. Just a little bit too much. Quite enough rebound, rebound. distance on that one. Two of five from the line till this game. Three of seven now. All big free throws to try and get Marley back in the game while the clock is stopped. And that's a good effort from Sidibe. Ibrahim. Ibrahim and Sidibe in a real pressure situation. Back in comes Mohamedou Kante. He's had some rest on the bench. Here goes Hill. Throws it up and the dunk for Abua. That's too easy. They broke the press too easy and Abua was just waiting to elevate and throw it down. Just the referee wants to speak with a player, or he just wants the ball. Without, just can't find an opening. Shots up for Drammy. He's short and off left. Diara with another rebound. Here goes Hill. He's so quick. Crossover. Crossover again. Drops it off to Abua. He's fouled in transition. Cameroon really causing some issues with these quick fire offenses. And Drammy trying to get back. 
for Senu Drami and Kante's not impressed with that. He thinks that Abu may have just kicked his leg out there. But Abu just gets, gets back to work. Against Nigeria, 10 points, four rebounds, three assists. And against Tunisia, nine points, four rebounds and one assist fouled out in that game. But he's been really consistent. Two of two from the line against Tunisia. And two of two from the line against Guinea. Abua. He's got a really good stroke when he's whether he's shooting a three, jump shots, or free throws. It's really impressive. Got a big future, this young man. And helping Cameroon build a big lead here against Mali. That's up to 14 points now. For Senyu Drami. Excuse me, Hassan Drami to Fasenyu. Back to his brother. Kante. Hassan, but they're really playing well here. Playing a zone, turn round, and getting into the weak spot of that zone in the middle. Diara turns and finishes with good touch. They need a stop now, but it's tough to get the ball off hill. Inside, outside, attacks, elevates. Good defense, he got hung up in the air, no foul. Even though he's asking for it, Drammy. And also, almost a tee, but with the Deflection and the steal. Back to man to man here. Marley, left hand finish, and it's good to go. Or is it? Is that an offensive foul? I'm not sure there was much there. That's pretty soft call if that's an offensive foul. We'll have to see the replay of that one. Because these are all big calls for Marley at the minute. 12 down, they need Jeremiah Hill with the foul drawn. Mohamedou Kante with the turnover. Kante with the offensive foul. So, and that's his second. That's massive. Cameroon attacking. Shots up from the corner, attempted rebound. They do keep it in. And Marley managed to do enough defensively to keep them out. And just simple, simple things. And that's probably the first time the twin brothers haven't connected. Fasenia, I think, Hassan thought Fasenia was going to attack the basket. A little no-look inbounds there from Matiba. That's how confident he's feeling. Cameroon by 12. But we know Mali are dangerous. Turn around in the post, no good. Pulls loose, but kept alive. By Abua. Atiba goes left, attacks. And he gets caught up in midair. That's good defense from Mali. They push ahead. And just enough on the ball from Cameroon, but they, Mali get. The loose ball, and it's for Senyi. Drame again, picking up the pieces for Mali. That's more like it for Mali. Can they get a foothold in this game in the last 4.50 or so? 4.45, 4.40 to go. Kame turns down the shot, and Abua was going to elevate and dunk that, but he just dropped it over the top. And the steal, it's too easy for Cameroon. Atiba. Wanting that three, but look at Abua trying to get the offensive rebound. Cameroon just seem to be more alert at the moment than Mali. Mali have played great basketball. They have entertained us. And the emergence of the Drami twins, Mohamedou Kante, we knew was going to be huge. Diara. Another star, local player, discovered by Coach Cabacanti. 
And here is a Tiba, and that is just nothing but net. He is different class, especially when he gets it going. Who, you just got to pick your poison if you're Malik. And again, trying to dribble through the defense of Cameroon. The ball's not loose, and a turnover marked up against Mohamedou Kante, who's normally so reliable. Tiba, five points. Two rebounds, one assist. Ball's loose, here comes Marley. Can they make something positive happen? Off the glass for Hassan. The drummy twins right there together, supporting each other. Back to 12, drummy two points. One of five from two points. There was going to be some real tough moments for Marley in this game against this super talented Cameroon team. And travel, good job. Travel called. Against Cameroon, Mali get possession. Atiba with the travel, a rare turnover for him. Kanate this time, but Jambo couldn't get it to go, but much better ball control there by Mohamedou Kante. Two shots coming for Jambo. Long-time servant, playing in Lorient in France. Played 11 games in the World Cup qualifiers. 11 points a game, 13 points a game, second high score in the Afro Basket 2021. And you can go all the way back to the 2019 World Cup qualifiers and 2015 Afro Basket, which is the last time that these two teams met. Jambo's 50% from the line. Nine points, three and a half rebounds, one and a half steals a game for Ibrahima Jambo. He's got that high release and flat looking arc. Perfect rotation. So we're back to 10 point game. Jambo, seven points. Doing a good job for his country yet again. So consistent. We're talking of consistency and brilliance. Here goes Jeremiah Hill against Kante. Look out. And the three just off, and I think Jambo's going to get called for a foul on that attempted rebound, and he's pleading his innocence. I think it was it was bought pretty well by the Cameroon player, Bayabua. He reacted accordingly, and the referees called it. And Jambo just play the next play now. Marley mustn't get caught up with frustration. They've got to stay switched on. Jambo's second foul. 3-10 remaining in this semi-final. The first of two today. Senegal will face off against Guinea at 6 p.m. local time. Guinea who beat Tunisia so effectively. Well, in the end, they were 17 ahead, Guinea. And it went all the way down to three after a couple of technical fouls. And Diallo, who's almost averaging a triple-double, for them, for Guinea, was fouled out after a technical foul. So, but they managed to hang on, and they'll be playing Senegal later. And Cameroon at the moment in control. You could say one foot in the final, but it's such a long way to go. And Abua again, 14 points. This is standout, seven of seven from the free throw line. Can say the ball sticks. Drammy, Jambo, and that's beautiful. He's really got the rhythm, great release, same shot every time, rotation perfect. And Marley hanging around. Keep in touch when you're not playing well, or not playing at your best, which I think they'd agree they haven't been. Look at Jeremiah Hill, gets the contact, and that's ridiculous. That's outrageous skill. But he was able to be isolated. He went one-on-one. -on -one. 13 points for Hill. He is a problem. And there's a technical foul as well.
tackle foul. Nick against Samir Betcom. Jeremiah Hill with a technical foul, 68. Of course. He must have over celebrated or maybe said you're too small. Sometimes, especially when you're in FIBA competition, the referees are not going to like that. There's a technical foul called on, I think it was Diara. For hanging on the ring after a dunk as well. So you've got to be careful. Play the game tough, but with respect. Ball, the shot's short, but another offensive rebound. And again, and there's a foul. And real jack in a box there for Marley's 24, Mule Sissoko. This is just so important. Get after the missed shots, get after the rebound. Second, third efforts. That's going to turn things around gradually for Marley. The bench gets up. It's all hustle plays. The coach loves you. And everyone's giving Mule Sissoko a a slap and he deserves it. He's done a good job for his country. But misses the free throw. So far today, Moulet, two points, five rebounds, and one block. Makes the second. Just slowly, slowly, Marley getting back into this. Now nine, the deficit. Tiba to Hill, what a one-two punch they've been. Such a joy to watch and a nightmare to defend. T uh, Philip Bay guarded by Jambo. Both teams in team fouls. Hill, wrap around pass to the corner. Crossover, creates space. Offensive rebound. But it comes into the hands of Mule Sissoko. Wide stance and rips the rebound down. And that's not so good. Samajan Kanate loses it. And blocked! Should have given it up. That's fantastic response by Kanate. Can Marley make the most of that super defensive play? Big pro hop shots up off from Kanate, who's been heavily involved the last three passages of play. Hill through the legs. They've got to be careful now, Marley. Bayi. He can shoot the three attacks off the glass and super touch for a big man. Philip Bay, he can score in so many ways. Back to 11 point game, Bay, five points personal. Back inside to Fasenia Drami against Atiba. That's short and big rebound taken off the front of the rim by Philip Bay. Into the final minute. 50 seconds remaining, Jeremiah Hill. Inside, outside, spin. Off the glass, can't get it to go, balls loose. They get another offensive rebound. Philip Bay again, Hill. Just, I mean, he's doing a little figure of eight drill there. Free throw line, jump shot, and it's just a nightmare to defend. When he's got the ball, or as he's shown already, when he hasn't got the ball. Inside, Kante gets really deep, but Cameroon chase him off. Shots up and off. And now Cameroon can really make a statement. Deep three is off. Box out. They can, they can still make this, Marley. Oh, and they just missed the long heave. But Cameroon are so difficult to contain all tournament, and they're showing it again today. So consistent. Half time, Cameroon 49, Mali 36. Mali being tested to the limit. Can they respond in the second half? There's the shooting percentages, 47% from two, 47% from three, eight of 17, nine of nine from the line for Cameroon. And seven of those have been made by Abua. 
18 rebounds each, 12 assists to 11 Cameroon, nine turnovers Cameroon, 13 Mali. And his top scorer is Hill, Abua and Bay. 15, 14 and five for Cameroon. Jambo, Diara, Sissoko, 11, eight and six points for Mali, who have a lot to deal with here. Lose and go home from this pre-qualifier for the Olympic qualifying tournament. So the second quarter, 22-19. Cameroon won that, they won the first 27-17. Their lead is 13, and on the whole, they've been very dominant. In this job, they've had some offensive rebounds. Mali, which has helped them, six offensive rebounds. Both teams, six. And then Abua with the, you saw it coming, with the easy alley-oop on tr in transition. Mali just didn't get back. And Hill, super smart. It's not just the points, as the Boer just drops that over, it's not just the points that Hill gets, it's the assist, 15 and five, three rebounds already, three turnovers, but the Boer is a real problem. So it's been a problem for most of them, for all teams, but Mali are having difficulty with it. And there's Hassan Drami with the layup. But we know Mali will have a run in them. Can Cameroon deal with it? And this turnover, one of Hill's three, and a nice controlled layout finish from Hassan. And then just the nightmare of trying to guard and the confidence of Hill. I think that is where he got his the technical foul. He was asking the referee for a foul. So that's half time of the first semi final today. Cameroon lead by 49 to 36. Don't go anywhere. Second half coming up very shortly. You need character. You need chemistry. FIFA Basketball World Cup is the peak of the game. It's the toughest competition in the basketball world to win. That is why I will be there. Because when you win for one, you win for all.
shutting, I like shining, I like million dollar bills. Where's my pen? Bitch, I'm signing. I like those Balenciagas, oh. the ones that look like socks. I like going to the Tula, I put rocks all in my watch. I like taxes from my ex. One second chance, I like proving niggas wrong. I do what they say I can't. Party, party, party. Probably the best of the best yet again, Jeremiah Hill. 15 points, five assists, three rebounds. I'm sure we'll be looking at his stats very closely. Cameroon leaders, Hill 15 points, Bay six rebounds, Hill five assists. It was at averaging eight assists coming into the game. So he's three more to keep up with his average. 15, three and five, that's pretty impressive. Three turnovers. And he's totally into this game, which is a bit of a nightmare for Marley. But they knew what they were coming into with Atiba as well. And Philip Jordan Bay, he, Abu is really developing fast. 12 minutes of play, 14 points for him. One assist, high-flying dunks and threes. And Chong Chi as well, 17 years old. He's had some good minutes defensively. Hit a three, had a dunk off a steal. So Cameroon, it's all clicking for them. Mali did get it back to nine points. Just needed to hang around, but then Cameroon surged again to get it back up to 13. And they're in control of the team at the moment, of, of uh, the opposite team, of Mali and themselves. There's fans and players from other teams that are in and people enjoying international basketball back in Lagos, Nigeria. camera sir <laughs> and obviously Lagos and Nigeria Boston Celtics hand there getting himself hydrated
and remember they just lost out to Senegal lost that game by three a wild ending in the last 30 seconds or so last minute and uh, Senegal were pleased to get out of there with a win and to win that group and they're up next against Guinea who took care of Tunisia yesterday so some amazing games this week and it's the best teams that didn't make the FIBA Basketball World Cup Finals that got through to the second round and it's in fact Mali that were given the wild card for this event as the next best ranked team by FIBA to get in this tournament and they are making the most of it and they've assembled a great team of experienced international players and introducing to the world the likes of the Drami twins and also Aliu Filiala Diara. There's a story there as well, how he was discovered by his national team and club coach Cavacanti. Download the app, scan the QR code, Corkside 8091, your home for streams, schedules, scores, and so much more. Everything you need from international basket. We'll check it out. Junior events, senior events, the FIBA Basketball World Cup for men. Eurobasket women was on there, the Women's World Cup. FIBA club events, a weekly show from FIBA. Some great stuff to keep you abreast. Everything FIBA. Here we go then. Semi-final Saturday. We're halfway through game one. And off we go. Marley and Red attacking the basket to our right. It's the Olympic pre-qualifying tournament. One team from this tournament. The winner of tomorrow's final will go to the Olympic qualification tournament. One of five Olympic qualifying tournaments. There's five pre Olympic pre-qualifying tournaments. Two in Europe, one in Asia, one in um, the Americas, and one here in Lagos, Nigeria. And unbelievably, Nigeria were out of this tournament after only two days losing to Mali and Senegal in quick succession Monday, Tuesday. And uh, straight into a zone, Cameroon. And it worked. And it got Mali out of sync. They couldn't get the shot off. Real good switch ups of defense by both teams, whether it's a trap being put on by Mali and their athletic players, or Cameroon just coming out, sitting, sitting in a zone and saying to Mali, You pass it around. Now, they're being given another 14 seconds here. So another delay. Not sure what the so five seconds remaining on the sh shot clock for Mali. Kante off the dribble, throws it up just off the back rim, falls loose. Hill, leading all scores. Shot clock running down. Shots up, front rim, long rebound collected by Marley. Marley in red, attacking the basket to the right. Kante Jambo, the Drami twins, and Diara on the floor. They need something good to happen. They're attacking the bucket. Back outside. Good closeout. A second closeout. Excellent defense. But they do get the open shot, and they leave it short. And rebound for Cameroon.
for Tamin Ang Cho. He's, done, he's had some good minutes. Atiba attacks, throws it up, and it's off the wrong foot, and so easy for Fabian Atiba. Kante, alarm bells again for Mali as the this semi-final slowly slipping away from them, or is it? Jambo, back into the zone they go. Travel. I think they showed a zone, but they were in man, sort of semi-man, semi-zone there, and Diara forced into a travel. Baye, good defense in close attendance. Cameroon, balls loose, great job by Drami. And Diara dribbles, but doesn't see. Cameroon defender right behind him. Here goes Marley. Tough shot. Misses. Balls loose. Offensive rebound. Extra pass. Open shot for Kante. Needs to go and it does. And that was hard work on the glass. And three point for Kante. Shakes his head. But can this be the start for Marley? Hill. 12 point lead for Cameroon. Abua attacks. Spins. Extra defense there from Diara and thrown up from Philip Bay, who gets after his own rebound, can't control it. And it still belongs to Cameroon and Jambo. It's going to be some frustration for the team in red, but they've just got to keep going. Baseline and possession, 14 seconds. Bay back to oh, Hill, it almost gets it stolen. By Drami, he's got such quick hands, long arms. Oh, great crossover, creates space and splashes it. Nothing but net. That is sublime from Jeremiah Hill, and his captain loves it. Oh, what a tip by Jambo. Incredible response immediately in transition. Ibrahim Jambo tips it in. Hill, guarded by Drami. Atiba nearly had baseline sides. Step back. And good defense. Here comes Kante. Can they get it back to 10? Jambo fakes, kicks. Kante fakes, steps to the side and misses everything. He had a good look, but he had to do a lot again just to get an open look. Really good closing out and hustling and chasing by the Cameroon defense. Hill. Atiba. Bay on the far side. And whistle. And Jambo, again, I don't think he's going to like this call either. Samir Beckham. That's Jambo's third foul. He's got to be really careful here. Just six minutes. Just four minutes into the quarter. Shots up. And that's unreal. With Jambo closing out with his long arms. Atiba drains the three. He's up to ten points. Two of five from beyond the arc. Lead up to 16. Baseline J is off. Rebound by Hill and a foul. And Hassan and Fasenyi leading the discussion there for Mali. All smiles for Cameroon at the moment, and why not? 16 points ahead, and then you can bring in 17 year old Chumchi at 2 meters 12. Just watch Cameroon go for this tournament and then AfroBasket qualifiers starting in November. AfroBasket 2025. Bay third foul. Chomchi in, Bayi out. 
Bali needs something good to happen at both ends of the floor. Rip through, and the three is good. Really simple out of bounds play. And for Senyi, Drami with the three. Beckham against Drami, who almost steals it. There he does get it this time. It looks to your left. He's going to take it all himself. He loses it. Offensive foul. Well, he stole the ball unless he's hooked. Unless he's hooked the defense. That's all I can think. Maybe need to look at that again. But Paul Yabura again got back, made it difficult for. For Senyi, just great players wherever you look, great young players. Hill shakes, bakes, and drains it. He's just unreal. This is just where well, you end up not being surprised. That is a tough shot from the corner from Jeremiah Hill. Ball's loose. Here comes Atiba. Ball's loose again. Chomchi gets it. Over to Hill. 59-44. Oh, and well done for getting back. For Senyi Drami and almost an alley oop for Abu. Yeah, Hill with the inbounds, guarded by Hassan Drami. And Atiba has it. What can he create? He's another dangerous offensive player. Kicks it, penetrate. Another wraparound pass. Chomsey tries to get the three, gets it back. Strong defense from Marley. Shots up, off, balls loose. Really good play from Diara that time. Shots up, this is big, and it's just off left for Hassan Dram. It's a quick shot. They don't need to be just shooting threes in transition because it's giving Marley extra offense. Chomsey from the top. And a foul. And you can hear the calls from the crowd and the coach is speaking. Is this one game too far for Mali against? It's been a great tournament. Just think of the teams that are here that haven't made the FIBA Basketball World Cup. Nigeria, Tunisia, out of the group stages. Senegal come next. Rejuvenated Cameroon and Mali. Here we go. Watch out. Block shot. They, they weren't sure what to do. Got hung up in the air and Hill blocks it. Shots up for three. Oh, that is unreal from Atiba. So casual. Dynamic duo for Cameroon. And Mali are stunned by what Cameroon are doing here. I think we're all stunned. But that's the issue with the two on one. Pass it early, get the defense to turn their head one way. As they turn it back, if you get the ball back, then you can make your strong move. But I think it was Dram one of the Drammy twins carried on going, and Hill was able to block the shot. Scan this QR code for live stats and more from Courtside 1891. Let's listen in to Coach Cabacante. Mohamed Ukante with that layup that chose not to pass. And then watch this in transition. Bit of confusion on the defense. Who's got who? Well, he's so far out of T, but. But so much belief, he has shot the ball well, especially against Nigeria. Excuse me, especially against Guinea in their first game. Then Hill took over against Tunisia, and they're both doing a lot of damage in this game against Mali in the semi-finals. 63-44, it's a 19-point lead for Cameroon. Pressure and the, sh and the 
Shot clock went off. The game clock went off. So the referees discuss. Cavacante looks on. How can he change things? How can he stop this Cameroon offensive machine? 13 points for Atiba now, three of six from behind the arc. Abu of 14, Jeremiah Hill, 21 points, four rebounds, six assists. He is definitely pushing for MVP votes. And he does everything within the flow. Three turnovers for Hill. Chomchi coming in, five points, two rebounds. And Bahi, five points, seven rebounds. Arnold Kome, number 15 for Cameroon. The captain being lightly used today. But hey, if they win this game, they've got another massive game against Senegal. And or Guinea coming up tomorrow. So we're inbound, Smiley in red. And Abua with the rebound, a foul called against Sadiba. Finals, four o'clock, 4 p.m. local time. And at the moment, Cameroon are marching towards that final, unless Mali can really turn things around. A long way to go, over 13 minutes of playing time in regulation. Philip Bay looking pretty a bit disconsolate there, but his team are in control. Beckham, maybe he just wants to get back out on the floor. Tonji throws it up, but great reaction on the defense from Marley. That was super. Almost stolen, it was stolen. That cross court pass is so dangerous. Well done for Beckham. Sadibi, that. Oof. Got to try and pass ahead at an angle or down the sideline. Any cross court pass is tough when the defense is up. Abua to Beckham. Goes left, comes back right, throws it up. And oh, Chomchi just, just throw it down, big fella. Again, a real easy look for Chomchi that they can't deal with his size. Chomchi and Abu are on the floor together. 17 and 23, and Marley turned it over straight ahead. Oh, and he went again for the big slam. Just growing into that huge frame. Just wasn't able to elevate high enough on the one-handed attempt. Shots up for Marley. Just in and out, great rebound. And off, off again, here comes Cameroon. They push ahead, Beckham. Crossover, waits for reinforcements. Left hand, wrap around, pass to Tonji. That is sublime. Fabulous pass and a good catch and finish from Tonji. They are giving us a highlight play after highlight player, Cameroon. Sidibe. Marley have got to keep playing. Almost a travel. And shots up and they just look stunned. They look... Not beaten. 
this team are very brave and very strong Mali and they've shown us over the two games they've played so far but this Cameroon team are a different level at the moment of efficiency and they've got the most efficient player by far out of the two teams in Jeremiah Hill strong play from Tonji gets his own miss rebound and 50-50 full fault with him and Sissoko Ball stays with Cameroon. And we're ready to go. A nice job by Abua and better defense. They got the ball in, but here comes Marley. Running at pace to Evie. Good, good transition defense from Cameroon. No, excellent. And a boo with the foul. Against Tamajan Kanate. It's Cameroon's first foul of the quarter. And Mule Sissoko. Nayama in for. Cameroon, good catch, and couldn't quite get to finish. Offensive glass, good job by Marley. And Sosoko, offensive rebound, he will go to the line for two shots. Jumps his second foul. Soko, two of three from the line, four points, seven rebounds, and a block in this game. 19 down now, Marley. Good three throws. Tonji with the inbounds. Cameroon at the moment being able to run their bench, give everybody court time, and I think that's going to be a turnover by Betcom. I think he got his hand under the under the ball there. Marley with another chance. Just over a minute remaining. All the way. Oh, Chomchi with the block. Unreal. Left hand again. He changes that shot as well. He's learning very quickly to play defense without fouling. But if he's waiting for you. Just try and pass the ball off or pull up for a floater or some sort of jump shot. Wow. 19 to 17, Cameroon's favor, uh, defensive rebounds. Shots up Tonji, he is a nice shooter. And he just took what the defense gave him. And all these players of Cameroon really getting confidence, getting good game time, meaningful minutes. 30 seconds remaining. And we're going again. That's the one, but he recovers. Chomchi again. Wow. Correct decision on the pass off, but Chomchi was was able to recover and challenge the shot as well. Watch this. He comes to. Oh, he just turned himself around, and the block actually came in from behind with Nayama. Yeah, good free throws again from Sissoko. Really strong game for Mali. If they don't win this, they play for pride, they play for minutes, they play for the next time they get together and represent their country in the AfroBasket qualifiers. AfroBasket 2025 qualifiers will take place November this year.
And so the cycle starts again for another Africa major championship. Tunisia, the champions for the last two editions of AfroBasket, eliminated from this tournament. Chomchi inside out, really clever play. And they get what they want, they get what they deserve. Because Chomchi was patient, the defense claps to him. Kome wide open, three points to finish. Kome's first three points of the game and Cameroon just keep piling on the pressure and the agony on to Mali. Cameroon 71, Mali 47 at the end of the third. I don't think Cameroon can believe quite as well as they're playing and the decision making is top notch. 10 of 24 from two, 14 of 25 from three, that's 56%. And nine of nine from behind, from the free throw line. It's pretty much perfection from Cameroon. And the score line reflects that. 71-47, they lead after three. some of the highlights and as hard as Marley have tried it's been tough but this was encouraging for them after another offensive rebound a couple of offensive rebounds they get the three-pointer from Kante and then this I mean that's one of the best defenders in African basketball right there he's just completely crossed him over for the three and that was Quite something from Ibrahima Jambo. And then watch, again, it's, Kante gets the pass. Should he have just given it straight back to Hassan Drame? There was a second defender coming back for Cameroon, but then Atiba did that off the hill block. Atiba made the three. And then Betcom to Chomshi to Kome to finish off and just create a beautiful team three-pointer. Corkside 8091, scan the QR code, stream the QR code, stream schedules, scores, and so much more on Corkside 1891, your home for FIBA basketball. And there's Beckham and Tanji. Well, if Mali are going to go out, they want to go out fighting for every possession and just showcasing to the world why they made it out of the group past Tunisia. Excuse me, past Nigeria, Senegal and Mali both beating Nigeria in Group A to advance to this semi-final stage. So Hassan Drami will inbound. Tonje and Betcom in close attendance. Kante. Waiting for the inbound. Goes the other way. Diara. Shots up. Three is good for Hassan Drami. That's big time start for Mali. Seventy-one fifty. Twenty-one point deficit. There's plenty of time to get this back. If they can just get red hot and Cameroon go off the pace. Tonji. They've just got to get they've just got to leave it all out on the floor now, Marley. And they bring it back out. Bay back on the floor. Shows his experience. Bay wants the ball at the top. He can make this three. And he's off on that one. And Marley have another chance to get it under 20. Drami loses it, but a foul by Betcock.
You can hear the uh, comments so clearly that indicating that Jerome lost the ball. Well, there's a foul call for Senyi. Got to get the spacing right because the defence is scrambling by Cameroon. Kante, all dribble, all him. Back outside, Jambo, can he make one? That's off. And a foul, and getting after everything on the offensive glass. And Sissoko again, another attempt at an offensive rebound. He's got two so far, 13 offensive rebounds for Mali. Against nine for Cameroon. Extra possession. 1.7 seconds on the shot clock, so it's a catch and a quick shot. And it's a turnover, and Jambo, I think, will get called for the foul there. And there, and it, it's good plays. And then just throw it away off the inbound. So Jambo, they're going to have another look at this. Jambo with the foul. Jambo's fourth foul, and it's a regular foul. Personal foul. Cameroon in white, leading by 21. And good defense from Mali without fouling, balls loose. Drami, and he's gonna lose it. Great job by Betcom, not backing off. And that's really typifies today. They do so well, and then they give it back, Nayama with the score. Trying to dribble out through two players. It's just a lack, bit of inexperience from Drami, but difficult to criticize at all because they've just played so well. And they believe they can get themselves out of trouble with the dribble as well as the pass. Betcom with the second foul. Kante. To Drami. Sissoko. Looking inside to Diara. And foul call. But on the floor before Diara scored. Eight seventeen remaining. So experienced, so good. Makes an error there where he's gone up for the maybe for the shot and then decides to pass in mid-air and there was no one available. So another turnover, 21 turnovers for Mali. Okay, mate. To Betcom. 
Philip Bay. A block shot by Sissoko. He's really playing well. Doing a bit of everything for his team. Kome under all sorts of pressure. Kome rips it through and he's free. He shoots. And they run out of shot clock, Cameroon. Averaging 14 turnovers a game, Mali. Deep three incoming off the back rim for Kante. Philip Bay with the rebound. Tonji passes it hard across into the corner. Back to Nayama. Outside, Philip Bay wide open three is good. Pinpoint accuracy for Bayhi. Inside for Mali. Sissoko looks, finishes. He's so strong. And Bayhi couldn't do anything about it. Good protection of the ball in the post move. Tonji comes back out and the throw down from Philip Bay. Nice pass from Tonji. And Philip Jordan Bay elevates above the ring. Hassan drops it off. And a charge for Nayama. He is playing really well today. Four points, two rebounds, two assists. Two steals and just taking a charge just to keep the momentum going. Cameroon's way and Hill and Atiba can both rest. And it's a real team effort. All the players that have played apart from Tamanang Cho have scored for Cameroon. It's time out here in Lagos, Nigeria. Semi final Saturday, and at the moment, in the first semi-final, Cameroon are heading through to tomorrow's final. Four o'clock, local time. Cameroon timeout. the points by quarter. Cameroon in control. Oh, no, 22 turnovers for Mali and the last one of those a charging foul, offensive foul by Hassan Drami. Cameroon playing great basketball, both ends of the floor here. They lead by 26 points. Tonji inside, but two Mali defenders re met him at the rim. Here goes Mali, and what a play by Drami. For Senyi, just makes it look so easy. And that was not. Seven points for, for Senyi. Diara for three is off. Offensive rebound is misses. Pulls loose. Pulls loose again, but Tonji gets it. And he slips on a wet patch. And that could have been dangerous, but he's okay, I think.
And it ends up as a turnover because he slipped and slipped out of bounds. Hill comes back in, well rested. Chomchi doing a nice job. Marley just couldn't get a shot off. Approaching halfway through the final quarter of regulation. And that's a travel. Extra step. Taken by Cyril Kume, who's only just come on. Kumo. In just a bit of indecision. And it was Kuma who made the steal there on the defensive end, so gets the one positive stat and then a negative stat. So he'll be going again now. Guarding at the moment for Senyu Drami. That's going to be a tough task. Drami again, just, well, I mean, he had big size advances there, and he's trying to play with his back to the basket, the three point line. Maybe relocating it nearer to the, to the block. Unfortunate for, for Senyu. Chomchi rips it through. Kuma, Hill, through the legs, behind the back, through the legs. Crosses over, pulls up, mesmerizing dribbling, and Cameroon get the offensive rebound. Kumo brings it out, bounce pass, but Jambo with the steal. Jambo waits. Back to Jambo. And now Cameroon on the run. And there's only a couple back, and they Throw it off the backboard. And that's Philip Bay with the throwdown. Two defenders back from Ali Bay. Rose above everybody. Shots up, blocked by Chomchi. Jambo gets the and blocked again. This time by Tonji. They're not laying anything easy. And when you've got everybody involved on the roster, everybody's ball is playing well, high energy. Nothing easy. Turn around, Jay. It's good. Great touch. From Tonji. Shooting over. Susuma. Two's good. And for Senyu Drami. He's at the line. Nine points for him today. Five rebounds, two assists. First visit to the free throw line. And he misses. Cameroon get the rebound. Approaching four minutes remaining. Kumo. Jump sheet. Nice dish inside. And the ball gets knocked away. Jump sheet really showing he's got some good vision. But he's played with some great players that can share the basketball. Drami. We began, we began to college again in the States to Quesney. With his brother. 
what a one-two punch they are for any national team or club or college. Good effort on the rebound, but Chomchi gets it off the bounce. And out to Kome, the captain. Just seeing things through now. No dramas required for Cameroon. They want to get through to this final unscathed. Shots up. Just off from Kuma, but good look from the elbow. For Senyu, but hesitates. And Chomchi steps out to defend, but he's called for the foul. Cameroon in team fouls. Senior drummer, just 22 years old, both him and his and Hassan, two metres. Basketball without borders, second team. Under 19 World Cup for him and his brother. Put up big, big numbers there. And have just taken two senior national team duties with a plot and balls loose. And good hustle by Jean Paul. Kuvara, Moanjo, and Jiki. And he will go to the line for two shots. This is his first action of these qualifiers. Tough situation to come into, but every minute you're on the floor, you've got to give it all you've got. Jicky, he's just 20 years old. Plays for BEAC in Cameroon. He was Afrocan this year. 8.7 points a game, seven rebounds and the qualifiers. Local player and scoring at the free throw line in a big time tournament. The pre qualifiers for the Olympic Games. Diara. Wide open for Fasenyi, he's just off left, balls loose, offensive rebound, good job by Marley, by Canate, balls loose, another offensive rebound off the bounce, Fasenyi trying to get up, blocked, Tonji just stands there, hands up, Tonji, he's going to lose it, great hustle by Marley, and a whistle, just the effort and the hustle right to the very end will please coach Cavacanti and Bubakar Kanute. Tonji trying to get the ball into Chomshi. Rips. And that's a pretty tough assignment for Chomshi with Diara guarding him. But trying to show it his all court skills there. 2.38 remaining. Marley. In possession. Trying to look, looking for a good finish. For Senyi. Clever. And draws the foul on Jiki. Jiki first foul and for Senyi at the line. Misses, but offensive rebound, balls loose. And Kumo gets the loose ball. Kome inside, back outside. Kome uses the screen, attacks baseline, and nice finish and good two man play there. Loving life from the bench, being able to rest and relax and uh, get ready for tomorrow's final because the job is almost done for Cameroon, but they won't want to switch off. They've played tough for Senyi Drami back at the line. Five of seven from the free throw line. 
great elbow position for both him and Hassan. They're just identical twins and an identical amount of trouble for any team that's going to play against them. We look forward to seeing their progress at college and beyond. Kumo, whoa, off the glass. Diara was waiting for the block. Fasenyi on his own, kicks it out, shots up. Offensive rebound again. Fake, fake, and Chomchi again. And Diara gets in there. That's Tonji and Chomchi both there. Diara at the line. Eight points today, three rebounds, steal and a block. And makes his first free throw, one of two today. Marley have come up against just an excellent Cameroon team, and I mean right throughout this roster, there is talent, there is reliability. And they're going to call whoever they play in tomorrow's final, because I think we can say that they are there. A lot of trouble. Guinea and Senegal coming up just over an hour's time, six o'clock local time here in Lagos, Nigeria. Who I know Nigeria supporters upset their team couldn't get out of the group to, to be here today but they've put on a great competition great tournament Komei just slowing it down goes one on one with Diara looks for the step back lets it go and just off the back rim and here comes Drama again just really low and attacking and and Kume's got one right in the face there. Cyril Kumo with the foul. And Drame back at the line. I guess he just wants to dominate. Whoever's on the floor, he wants to dominate them. And that's how he plays. Front foot. Great scorer. Rebounder. Free throw shooting's pretty good. And we go into the last minute. And Cameroon, 16 points for Drami, seven of nine from the line. But Cameroon are heading to the final. One, and that's great defense again from Mali as Tonji loses concentration and commits a backcourt violation. But Cameroon are going to be one win away from going to the Olympic qualifying tournament. Shots up, nice job by Marley again. Getting the score. Canate with that, with that bucket. Balls almost not loose, and it is lost. The last time Cameroon went to the Olympic qualifying tournament which will be next summer, was in Athens in 2008. Drami gives it to Diara, who respectfully drops the ball over the top. It was him that got a technical bang on the ring with one hand against Tunisia. Diara shoots just off. And Cameroon take the defensive rebound. They take the win and they win the semi final in Lagos, Nigeria, in this Olympic pre qualifying tournament. Final score Cameroon 86.